Ahead of the opening of the new lines to Chilwell and Clifton, NTL is introducing a new system for process improvement. Here to tell us a little bit about that process, known as visualisation, is Paul Robinson, our General Manager. So Paul, over to you, what actually is visualisation? Well, visualisation is a project management system. It enables you to look at all the planning that we need for opening the new lines to get to full service commencement. So, why has uh, visualisation been introduced here as NTL? We decided to introduce visualisation as a tool because of the, the complex nature of the operational readiness plans we have. There are hundreds of tasks and we can quickly see by visualising those tasks what the status is and what we need to do uh, if there are any issues. And how has it been implemented so far? We've actually put all of our development plans uh, on a wall in a dedicated visualisation room here at the depot. It's actually in a porter cabin here. OK, and, and what kind of training has come with, the, with its introduction? We've trained all of our senior managers uh, in a set of behaviours. They're very simple. Uh, we ask ourselves, are we on time? What are the problems? Where are the problems? And what are the solutions to those problems? And by taking that approach, no doubt it brings uh, several benefits. What do you feel are the key benefits it will bring? Uh, it enables you to quickly see if we've got problems in any area. So it flags up red flags immediately if we're behind or there's an issue, and that enables you to take some form of corrective action. And no doubt it's tied in with all the overall aims and goals of the organisation. How do you think it will, in practice, help you to achieve those goals? It enables us to see, for example, it enables us to see where we are with control room development and completion, where we are with driver training, where we are with revenue protection deployment, customer service engagement, and tram and infrastructure maintenance. So we can quickly see what we need to do to enable us to open uh, a safe, reliable, robust service for full service commencement. You mentioned there the visualisation room. Can anybody view that? Well, there's a lot of confidential information in there, uh, so it's only accessed really by our senior management team. Uh, it's kept locked when it's not in use. People go in daily to update their charts, and we have a weekly meeting in there. Um, clearly, if anybody has a real interest, I'm sure we could accom accommodate them and they can go and have a look. Obviously, this is a very complicated and uh, an in-depth process. Have you received any external help in its implementation? Yeah, we've, we've used a company called Evolute 360. They, they've got experience in the transport sector and have done similar things before. They, they bring a series of business uh, tools. We've selected one of them, which is visualisation. And a guy called uh, John Morton uh, from Evolute 360 has helped us develop our operational uh, readiness plan. And Trevor Stocker, our own guys, helped him do that. And finally, what, what actually happens to visualisation after full service commencement? Well, visualisation will see us through to full service commencement and after that we intend to use it to in improve our KPIs, whether that is uh, customer satisfaction, improve efficiency, uh, get maintenance done uh, more quickly and, e and effectively. Uh, we'll continue to, to use visualisation uh, afterwards. That's brilliant. Thank you very much for your time, Paul. Thank you.